Hello viewers, Asa here. I'd like to welcome you to another new Let's Play of a game called Shinomori, which was just officially released on Desur a couple days ago. I'd really like to thank the game's developer, Nyar, for giving me a free copy of the game to Let's Play and review. But before I get started, I'm just going to real quick um, give you guys a synopsis of what the game is about, as quoted from their Desur site. Okay, so Hisao, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, Hisao, I don't know. <laughs> Hisao, a lonely businessman, is stuck in a dead-end job and surrounded by a bunch of bad problems. He decides to make a one-way visit to Shinomori, the forest of death, to end it all. However, on arrival, he meets Kanade, a female artist who is also in the same situation. Struck by love at first sight, they both decide to leave the forest together and make another go at life. However, they soon become the victims of an annual haunting in the forest and must escape the ghosts and demons who haunt the forest and discover its secrets. So it's going to be a scary game. A little scary game. And we'll see how much I react to little scares. I'm excited and a little worried. We'll see how this goes. So uh, without any further ado, let's enter the forest. You think you die alone, but that's not true. Nobody is alone in this world. Well, that's uplifting. Mount Fuji ge Geology! Geologists are the best people, aren't they? Mm. Mm. Yes, they are. I'd have to agree with that. A game by Nyar! Yay! <laughs> He's a pretty cool guy. Shinomori. Okay. Let's see if I can move the... Oh! Hello. Jumped right into things. Alright, find the crying girl. I think we can do that. We can hear her crying. Whoop. Okay, we can run with the shift key. We can jump just a little tiny bit. We're not very athletic. That's okay. That happens. I can't really tell if we're getting closer or farther away from her. Hmm. Oh, there's a house. Maybe that's what we need to... That's, that's blood. There's blood in there. That's not great. Yeah, let's go see what's in here. Maybe she's in here? Is she in the car? Is she in the trunk? Is she in the hood? Is she out of gas? There's no way of knowing. I don't know. This seems weird. Um, I don't think I can open these doors. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. She's not crying anymore. Oh, I can't tell where she is. <laughs> the first challenge. Find this girl. You stubby-legged individual. You stubby-legged trench coat man. Oh, crap. If you were a sad person crying in a scary forest, where would you cry at? What would be your ideal crying location? You know what? I bet it was like right behind me or something, right in this starter field. Wow, that is like awful. Um, okay, so she's not behind me. Oh, can't even go that far. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's try this way. Um, yeah, maybe over here. Oh, is that something? Am I seeing things? Am I already seeing things in the suicide forest? Let's go see. Yep, definitely seeing things already. There is nobody there. Shit. We must canvas the area. Come on, Mr. Chubby Legs. Chubby Stubby Legs. We're gonna find this crybaby soon. And eventually, though, she will run out of tears. We will be stuffed in that case. Ooh. Shit. The forest can't go on forever. We're going to have to find her eventually. I think. God. Where are you, lonely artist? You're not here anymore. Right? Yeah, I don't hear her anymore. Shoot. Oh, 
I don't know. Oh! What, what happened? <laughs> oh, oh, this is her. Right. Okay, we found her, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Damn straight, I did that. <laughs> I thought I lost. <laughs> I was like, she ran out of tears. You lost the game. I'm sorry. Everything will be okay. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Night fell very quickly. That is for sure. Find the artifacts. Oh, are you serious? Oh man. Oh man, this is going to be scary as hell. Okay. <laughs> How am I supposed to find anything? <laughs> I'm disturbing my cat. How the hell is what am I looking for? What relics? That is so ridiculous. One little creepy goblin guy just freaks me out to the point where I'm scared. Abandoned tunnel, warden's lodge, rock garden. Well, I'm gonna go this way. I could do without the whispers. You know what whispers? Forget about you. You're not gonna scare me today. Ooh, this is where we were before. Yeah, yeah. This is the rock garden. <gasps> a scary skull! Oh, that's not an artifact. This wasn't here before. A floating box! Oh, is that an artifact? I don't know. I was not given any indication of artifactiness. Shit! <sighs> it's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. I'm okay. Gotta find these artifacts. Wherever they may be. See, now that, that doesn't scare me. You know, you can cry and whine and howl all day long. But the second you put a giant golden goblin in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad. Oh no! Oh, this one's coming for me. Oh shit. That was brilliant. Like, the timing for that could not have been better in any way, shape, or form. I think I, I advise you to just go back. I know you're already doing it. Just go replay that. Just just go back in the video and find that part again because it's hilarious. I know it is. I know. It's really depressing. Honestly, you could have, like, a stick figure. Like, a little popsicle stick with a ghost on it and, like, stick it in front of my face. And it would scare me. That's very sad. That's very sad. Fucking goblin guy. Do you think I can summon him again? Do you think he's like Beetlejuice? Oh, shit. Like I said, you can do that all you want. It don't make... I feel like I could be wandering around this freaking forest forever. That's not good. Was that the point? I think that is the point. You will die in the suicide forest! Goblin exposure. Ah, balls. Hmm. Is there a map? Oh. Map would be real good. I feel like I'm overdue for the goblin. Oh my god, I just got like a horrible chill as I said that. Ah, goblin! Green goblin! Uh, I feel like this is the this is the trend of games lately. Me wandering around. 
aimlessly contemplating my existence. Waiting for a goblin to pop up or a stray- oh! You stay there. <laughs> you know what? I should just, uh, in the description, I should just put little, um, what are those called? Time marks? Time stamps. When the goblin pops up. Because that's some funny stuff right there. You know what? Let's look at this again. Abandoned tunnel. In this direction. Right, okay. We need to get moving here. We need to find this relic stuff. So we can get the hell out of this forest. That's what I'm thinking. That's my opinion. I don't know, can I save the game? Oh. Uh. No! Is that a rock? Is this a rock garden? I feel like this is a phallic garden. Oh, no, those are trees. These. Whoa! <laughs> you know what? It just goes to show that you don't need good graphics or even, like, animated monsters to scare people. Maybe it's just me, but I think that's pretty cool. This, that is like literally a, just a moving image and it still scares me. It's all about atmosphere, isn't it? That's what you've taught me, Shinomori. It is all about atmosphere. So did I pass the rock garden then? This is not a rock garden. Those are not rocks. I hate to break it to you, but those are not rocks. <sighs> ah, what the fuck? <laughs> I got my window open. This is so embarrassing. Oh, man. All right, well, this is not going well. I will say that. This is not going well at all. This is the, basically you, the viewer, are just waiting for me to get scared by something. And it's happening quite frequently, so you are being quite rewarded. We keep seeing this car. Um, yeah, I have a feeling that's, that's got to play into it somehow. Okay, 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 you know what? I'm going to say this. In the interest of making this a meaningful let's play, Oh no, that's nothing different. I'm, I'm going to stop here <laughs> and see if I can figure out uh, what I need to do so that this is not just a let's play of me wandering around a dark forest for hours at a time trying to find these, these relics, I think. Not because I'm scared. I mean, I've only screamed wild like six times since we started playing. I'm really f afraid to take any more steps. This is very effective. This is a very effective, scary game. So if you feel like being scared, I suggest you play this game. Well, it's like jump scares, but still, you know. If you feel like being scared, pick this up. <laughs> As you can see, I'm having quite a bit of fun with it. So, um, so yeah. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. See, I want to keep going. I really do. Um, but I'm not really excited about the inevitable goblin man popping out at me. I could do without the inevitable goblin man. God, even text messages are scaring me now. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All righty. Come on. Come. Ah! He can float. Apparently, he can float. Okay. Yeah. Um. Really need to find where these things are. Really need to find them. See, if you buy the game, you can, you know, you can help, <laughs> you can help me find them. <laughs> you can send me your Let's Play. Oh, yeah, I, you know, you know, it's, uh, just go past the, uh, the scary skull. You know, there's, there's one right inside the scary skull. Shit. That is an ominous looking tree. And so is that one. And that one, and that one, and that one. 
Come on, I really want to find a relic. I really, really want to find something. Oh, barnacles. All right, guys, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take a little break for now because <laughs> this is uh this is a little little taxing on my arteries. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna find these freaking relics. <laughs> I'll see you next time.